Good morning, Sharif. Uh, Sharif and I Good were morning. discussing that uh, I discovered uh, Sharif last week on the show, and I've been following him on social media. Uh, Sharif, I noticed you have uh, uh, over uh, 1,500 followers uh, to some of your social media sites. Um, yeah. Sharif exactly. Afifi from Biblioteca Alexandria in Alexandria, Egypt. Welcome, Sharif. Welcome. Hello. Hey, hey, before you get started, we have one question left, left over from last week. Uh, yeah. I wondered if you could uh, answer this question before you move on. Yeah, the question was about... The uh, differences that, in conservation that, practices between Egypt yeah. and other countries. Uh, can you describe any unusual or interesting treatment solutions or conservation issues? Um, I guess I also wonder, being close to the ocean with high humidity, are there other problems that you need to be concerned about? Yeah, uh, actually, it's a little bit tricky question. But uh, first of all, let's uh, concentrate about the uh, old school restoration. Because people used before using a restoration rather than a conservation. Uh, I would like to just uh, highlight the difference between uh, uh, restoration and conservation. Restoration it means that you are you are making the the subject or the object as new as it it was before. It's like sending it, sending it back to its original state or making it as new as it was before. You're making an accident with your car. You go to the uh, to the garage and making a restoration for your car to to become as new as it was before the accident. But 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 now we are talking about a conservation. We are talking about science. We are talking about stopping the decay and any forcer uh, deterioration. We are talking about keeping the historical evidence and uh, uh, the originality and the identity of, uh, of the object. Now the people are talking about the conservation. Before, we used to have a restoration school. We used to say it's an old restoration school that is an uh, Italian restoration school, that is an American restoration school or whatever. But nowadays, we have an international ethics Conservation is based on science, the studying cases, uh, material, studying the material, uh, knowledge, uh, codicology. So there is no difference between the conservation in Egypt or any uh, different place. But the difference is what material is suitable to your region. What is what is the suitable material for, for instance, for the uh, humidity? Uh, area for the Middle East. What is the material which is suitable for to use it on the uh, uh, other countries, hot countries or whatever? It, we don't have any difference between uh, uh, making a conservation for especially for the art, uh, artifacts or archival material as a general uh, conservation uh, uh, practice. But we, uh, we, we uh, studying all the uh, international ethics, we're studying all the uh, researches, we are following all the uh, uh, latest research, following, following the conservation science uh, practice, and we're choosing what is suitable for our region. For instance, I will, I will give a, a very small uh, uh, example. Uh, generally, we are saying that we should use a reversible material in a conservation matter, in a conservation uh, uh, technique. Uh, why we are using a reversible material? Because maybe you are making a mistake, so it will be much more easier to reverse it and remove whatever treatment or glue you are, which you have already used, and use the correct method. Uh, maybe in the future we are uh, the scientists will discover a higher technique or some nano extra nano techniques which is suitable so we can remove the uh, old technique and uh, uh, and apply the, the the latest one for instance for instance uh, sometimes we are making a mending for the paper which is our uh, uh, episode today we are talking about the paper mending 
Uh, most of the people on the Europe are, uh, are using starch, especially wheat starch. But we still prefer to use uh, methyl cellulose in the Middle East area because of the humidity. Both are scientifically are already approved as uh, 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 the best practice for the conservation. But we choose to use a different material because of our uh, 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 our uh, our uh, the humidity and our weather as well. I hope that answers the question. Very good. Uh, the, uh, the part B to the question was about uh, Islamic bindings. I think you uh, answered that last week. Unless you have one handy, you can grab and show us exactly what an Islamic binding is, or uh, if you could give us a quick uh, definition or description of that. Shari? I think it, yeah, I, I think it, it will be uh, talking about the Islamic binding and its uh, characterization and identity. I think it will need uh, a full episode to talk okay. about that. We can arrange uh, that and making showing examples and uh, uh, talking about its history and technique as well. Great, great. Well, well that's give us a good reason to have you back, Sharif. Yeah. Now, Sharif, <laughs> exactly. I, I know as a, a, a book and a manuscript dealer, every once in a while I'll get a historic letter or a historic manuscript or something else and, uh, made out of paper that has a tear or a rip. And its value is, is somewhat uh, diminished. The appreciation for the object is diminished because of that tear or rip in the paper. Would you share with us a little bit today uh, a very uh, t easy technique for, for us who perhaps are not uh, uh, specialists in the area of conservation and restoration, how we could go about repairing a paper tear? Uh, I will tell you a very easy technique. If you are not a specialist, if you don't know what you are doing, just leave it. <laughs> <laughs> rather Good than answer. using, rather than using a, a, a scotch tape or other uh, irreversible adhesive or irreversible uh, uh, material, which in the future will act chemically with the paper and make forcer and more deterioration to the paper. Now we are just trying to, for instance, do the using your solid tape or uh, scotchy tape, and thinking that you are doing the right, uh, the right thing. After ten years, you will regret that you are doing that. So I would, I, I would advise that just keep it. Uh, if you are not uh, specialized, if you don't know what you are, uh, what you are doing, just keep it. If you are working in an archive, if you are working in a uh, library and you are not well trained to do that, just leave it as it. In the future, you will find a conservator or you can just learn how to do it first and then go to use the right method. Uh, I think that we are going to show, uh, show uh, a video, a short video. I've already made a three episodes about the tiers and how to professionally making mending uh, for the tiers in a, a professional con conservation uh, technique. Great, as we uh, go ahead and load that video, uh, it always reminds me, uh, here we go. 